wallets. And, uh, you know, vice versa. You know, I mean, if there's money on one side and uh, high art on the other, what the hell, you know, why not what, mix it up a bit? What, what, did, what, did the, what did the parents think of your quest then? The parents, well, my father, uh, my father was an extremely gregarious fellow and uh, very simple in his needs and his demands of life. Um, a wonderful guy, really. Uh, real down to earth, uh, good guy, just a real good guy. I didn't what know was his employment here? He was uh, well. His his last uh, his last sixteen years, I believe, of full time employment were with uh, uh, Harvard University, where he was a custodian in the cyclotron building, where I believe they achieved some sort of uh, nuclear bombardment. In, on a model scale. I recall there was an explosion there one night uh, a couple decades back. Um, some night worker uh, inadvertently mixed some wrong thing with some wrong thing and windows were blown out. All I swear this is true. They were blown out for a radius of, of seven miles at least. And uh, several people in the building that night, there weren't many in there because it was uh, it was a weekend deal. Uh, whoever was in there that night was killed. There were, I, I forget, five or six or seven people were killed in that explosion. It took uh, a goodly while, I think, to clean it all up. This was back in the 50s. In that way, no, no, it was in the... Uh, Several decades. No, I believe it was... Wait a second, let me think this out for a second. It was about two and a half decades. I think it was the early 60s. Early 60s. I believe. I'm pretty sure it was like 1962. Yeah. Um, anyhow, that's my, that's when my father was working. He was working there at the time too. He became part of the cleanup operation, um, and he stayed there until his retirement. And uh, he retired a few years before he died. Uh, more than well, five or six, I think, years before he died. So he had some retirement before he before he died. He did. In fact, I may even be erring on the uh, on the on the uh, diminutive side. There. I think uh, I think uh, he may have he may have uh, had, uh, retired as much as eight to ten years before he died. I remember he had uh, uh, he had uh, several part-time jobs in the course of his retirement um, until he became. Uh, he became rather debilitated of, uh, well, just in general. I think it had to do with his uh, his cutting out uh, his cutting out uh, uh, various forms of liquid refreshment that used to uh, 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 appeal quite to his spirit and to his to his essential Irish mode of gregariousness and out outgoing behavior. And, um, Anyhow, this is neither to praise nor... That's a, that's, a, that's a protection, isn't it? I suggest that this is neither to praise nor to condemn whatever anyone might imbibe. Um, and in fact, I wouldn't pin it on his being deprived of his one of his favorite forms of refreshment. He wasn't a drunk by any means. He was simply a regular imbiber. It might have been a beer or two, an occasional shot. He did indeed cut out the shots. Oh, I'd say a uh, solid eight years before he died. Um, and so then it was just, uh, you know, a rather fixed schedule of a beer or two each day. Uh, there was, a, still is a bar called the Abbey Field, although I think they've shortened it to Abbey by now. In Inman Square, uh, it's, it's in Somerville, just before the Cambridge line. Um, and that was his. That was his clubhouse. It wasn't. Uh, I mean, it wasn't a place that he ever went to drown in. He would go in there for an hour or so of an evening, and it was his. Uh, it was his regular watering hole. And he used to. Uh, back in his day, there was. A, there was a good number of folks that he could hang out with and belt out a song. He loved to sing. He knew a thousand songs. So did he appreciate he appreciated your 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 gift to the muse? Well, yes and no. I mean, he. As I say, he put he did didn't did they put the sons through college? 
with their with their labor, or did the sons go to college on on uh, on their own money? Well, there was a little scholarships and and such things. Both. I didn't have. I had no form of scholarship as an undergraduate. I went to Northeastern University, and they had a co-op system. Mm -hmm. um, Still do. They do. They still do. I guess. <laughs> I, the reason I know they do is I, I, let's see, last decade, well, I taught there for a few years last, uh, between 76 and 79. Okay, so let's go Let's go back then. That's that's jumping yeah. ahead again. It is. Thank you. Let's you go. know, that's jumping ahead. I know. Really, I know. Well, that's because I asked the question. If you don't keep this kind of information down. in order, I'm, no, I mean, seriously, yeah. it's a great thing that Tom is, you know, putting a rein on this kind of, you know, I mean, you know, I can really... Sometimes I tend to run off. You know, we don't want to talk about your normal Irish volubility or anything, will we? Well, I now should, I should think not. Okay, <laughs> no. what we were talking Let's about go. the siblings and okay, their, and we're, we're we're back we're back to the siblings again. Okay, I did co-op work, right? There's a co-op system, so that fairly effectively paid my way through college. Uh, ten weeks in, ten weeks out. Uh, started as soon as you got out of high school. Uh, yeah. Graduated from Somerville High? No, no. I graduated from Malden Catholic. Graduated from Malden Catholic? Yes, yes. I had to leave town. That's a private a, school. A private Catholic school, yeah. Okay. I had had before that eight years of Catholic schooling at a small grammar school in Union Square, Somerville, St. Joseph's. Um, and it was an all-boys school. Well, the part of it that I went to, they also had an all-girls school up around the corner on Webster Ave. Well, but that's St. Margaret's, isn't it? No, no, no. Same, same name for both Saint, schools? St. Joseph's, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I thought there was a St. Margaret's right there, too. Not right in Union Square, no. Okay. Um, okay. And the uh, the building, in fact, the building is a three-story brick building uh, fronting across the street from uh, Frank Flaherty's uh, funeral parlor. Uh, <laughs> Minnie's the Lake I attended in Frank's shop there. In fact, my, my dear old dad was uh, was buried from Frank's place. Was waked in Frank's. Yeah, it's Flaherty and Brown now. In those days, it was uh, it was uh, Frank Flaherty and Sons' uh, funeral. I, t I never really met his sons, although I know he did have one guy named Billy who drove him around. <laughs> okay, so you went to so you went to your straight Catholic school education, right? Oh, Where I was you telling you about, wait, 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 wait. I was telling you about that building. That building was finally converted uh, not too many years ago. And it's now a, uh, it's a three-story brick building, which is now a uh, condominiums for disabled elderly. And uh, indeed, that's not a far cry in my own mind uh, from the function it served when I was a pupil there. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, do you remember any of the, any of your, your, your nuns? Oh, I do indeed. I just say that that's not the right right way to teachers, not nuns. None of my nuns. None of your nuns. None of my nuns has <laughs> forgot to me. I remember all my nuns. Really? Have you written anything of them? Of my nuns? Well, y yeah. In uh, your in your in your your early writings, did you did you use them as characters in your? You know, I've used them. I've used them disguisedly as characters, uh, but I've never written specifically of. Of nunhood. That's interesting. That question is very interesting to me right now because uh, I've never even thought of that. I mean, I've never thought to ask myself, why have I not? Uh, or if I have, indeed. Well, actually, there's a chance I have, but I have so much material that's, it, you know, that I haven't even collated yet for, for uh, you know, and for I the occasional volume. Okay, I take it you were a, a, a normal student, you did. No, I was more than a normal student. I was a, I was, in grammar school, I was a, a uh, I was marked for excellence. I was almost invariably first in my class, or on occasion, you know, by some uh, dim-witted purveyance on the part of the teacher, I was marked down to second or third. <laughs> <laughs> had, they, had these teachers seen your brothers before you? Yes. Yes. So you all went to the same schools, yes, basically. Yes. That's right. That's okay. right. So we you were, you had a, you had some expectations to uphold. Well, whether I did or not. I not mean, whether you upheld them, but the no, no, no. Whether I did or not, I was, I, I, was very much there on my, own, in my own right. I was very much, you know, the pupil in my class in my own right. I was not. I, I, you were not the brother of. There was precious little dependency on the image of a brother gone before. Okay. I had nuns for the first five years, by the way, sisters of Notre Dame, 
And then for the next three years in this same little grammar school, uh, we had Zaverian brothers. This is the same order that um, my brother eventually joined. Because myself and both my older brothers, uh, we all went to Malden Catholic, which is uh, maintained and taught by Zaverian brothers. So you went you went to Somerville for for to Saint Saint Joseph's for five eight, years? No, for eight years. For eight years. Yes, we had nuns for five and brothers for three at this grammar school. Oh, Saint okay. Joseph's. Yeah. Okay, and then when you went to high school, you had brothers, brothers for again. four years. Yeah.